It's an incredible view. More people are getting a chance to see up close. This summer, a local team ventured into the depths of the ocean to begin what will be a years long process to document the wreckage of Titanic in greater detail than ever before. This expedition included nationally and world renowned scientists, explorers and Titanic experts. We profiled some of them before the trip. Leading the charge on this expedition is OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush. And because his sub Titan is traveling the country right now, he suggested we do the interview in a mock up so you can get an idea of what it's like inside for five people to dive on Titanic. The colors were just staggering. I mean, you have these reds and greens and blues that you just don't see in a lot of images because they don't get as close as we were to it and you can't get enough light on it. But once you get a lot of light on it, you get these colors just step out. And I was amazed. I sort of look at this thing and go, this is, I don't know, even if you didn't know what it was, you'd say, that's a beautiful picture. You were so excited about being able to make this happen. And now that you've done it, how do you feel? Uh, well, I, I can get how I felt right when we were done, which was exhausted. Um, and now I'm just, uh, I got the same anticipation of what comes next. We're, we're doing this tour of the sub, and then we're going to go back in uh, next year, so gearing up to do it again. And then all the things that are now coming out of it, now that we've been to the Titanic, um, the number of you know, partners and folks who are sort of on the sidelines waiting to see how it turned out um, are all now super excited to you know, join in. When we got to the wreck, I think what I found the most um, surprising, um, it, it looks like it does in the, you know, the movie Titanic. You get to the bow and there's, a, there's that moment of awe when you're, you're looking at the bow and saying, well, this is what I've seen so many times. <laughs> the shot everybody knows. The shot everybody knows. Um, and as you can see, very little current, so we're just able to, to cruise along here. So this is just debris from the wreck. You know, there's a, uh, a saucer probably, a teacup. This is some of uh, a concrete probably from uh, the walls. Uh, it's the uh, top of, I believe, the um, officer's quarters. You can see it's collapsed in. So as we're coming down here, this is the uh, one of the anchors, and the anchor was 60 feet above the keel of the wreck. And you'll see it right now, it's just above the dirt or the mud. So the, the bow of the Titanic is about 60 feet buried. And it'll be very interesting when it does start to decay, how that changes, this part that's been exposed and then the part that's buried in the mud. You know, is there gonna be a difference there? Um, and what's gonna be exposed when that happens? So this should be, this should be 60 feet and instead it's you know, a couple of feet. That's about a, like it's 10 feet, um, you know, pretty large anchor. Someday we'll go down there and the bow may not be recognizable. Maybe that'll collapse or other, you know, other pieces that have started to, to, to come down. So you really, you really don't know. And no one's been inside the wreck in a long time. So we don't know how much decay has happened in the internal structure. Um, someday, yeah, someday I'll go down there and it won't look the same, but I think it's in pretty good shape for a few more years. But that's also kind of the point of this entire expedition is to be able to document, not just here's what it is now, but how it's changing throughout the yes. years. Yes, I, I, there, I don't believe there's been a period where you've had back-to-back -back expeditions. It typically has been at least a two-year gap. Um, and so us going back next year will be great. And then every year that we go, we're going to get that very steady drumbeat of, of what is the process. For me, the whole mission is how do we get access to the deep ocean that isn't you know, limited by government research dollars or billionaires' yachts. And so the Titanic is the way to do that.